must be a climbing path somewhere to reach the altar. Here, under the watchful eye of one of the Lords of Death, lies the gate to Shabalba, where all must travel when transitioning from this life to the next.
find anything? Another of those Maya altars, and... And what? An old camp, gone to ruin. We should keep going. Right. How will we know when we're back on track to find the hidden city? Maya ruins are bound to stand out, right? Right. How far do you think it is to Kwakyaku? Assuming we're going the right way? Mm, hard to say, but the irrigation system is a good sign. Right. People were here at some point. Let's just hope they still are. I think we can get out that way. Jonah, help me with this. On three, two, one. Are you okay? Help me with this. Your back looks bad. I'm gonna go make camp.
Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father, from himself. But I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, at the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> So many questions. Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of his shell to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, and lose everything else? No way. I like this world. It's... It's not perfect. But everything I love now is in it. treasure, the adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing your math homework? The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon. Taunting. <laughs> Looks like there's something up there in the crow's nest. Better. 
Test of skill. Our hero will need a bullseye to weigh down that basket. I have thought about it many times, and I'm still adamant that Lara be spared from this terrible grief, as you call it. Having her constantly thinking about her mother will only be more painful. It is better for her to be a child and not be burdened by such heavy thoughts. If you do not desist in this campaign of yours, I will not hesitate to terminate your employment at Croft Manor. Forbidden tomb calls out. The treasure is revealed. The floor gives way. Lara tumbles into the darkness. I think this is from when we walked the El Memsha. I don't remember much, except for how spicy the bazaar smelled. Mum looks so happy. So does Dad. <sighs> it's not fair. Why did she have to die? Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. Sir. I understand these last few years have been more than difficult for you. We all miss Amelia terribly. However, I worry Lara has begun to forget what little she knew about her mother. A terrible thing. I realise it is not my place to pry, but have you reconsidered talking to her about Amelia? My belief is that it would help you get over your tremendous grief and bring you two closer. What was it Dad said? Carnations first appeared where the Virgin Mary's tears fell. The castle gates are well guarded. There's a reason our hero doesn't use the front door. Amazing! Croft has entered a burial chamber that has not been disturbed in millennia. <coughs> this looks like a figure from that game Mum and Dad used to play. But why is it out here, in the playground? There's an A scratched in the bottom for Amelia. I miss you, Mum.
Our hero could shoot a fly of a cart at 100 paces. The adventurer should not dally any longer. The White Queen, locked away, but not forgotten. The excavation will soon reveal the secrets of this site. Now for the real treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. <sighs> Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Guard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. The castle tower is taller than she thought. Hero continues climbing, looking for another way in. Our hero spies another entrance. the extraordinary height and danger and pushes it from her mind. Covers her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. She's so close. She can almost touch it, but an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. <clears throat> Our fearless adventurer has reached the summit. She spots a way in below. She will have to be careful. Hmm. 
Why do I do these stupid things? Shit! <laughs> Chuckles at her audacity. <laughs> She's close now. At last, she enters the forbidden tomb. By night, the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the white queen is lonely. The king and the white queen. There's something in the shields. Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the White Queen? Where are the white pieces? the head of King David. From a shepherd to a king, imagine that. The cup of St. John. The apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine, but after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake and he drank the wine unharmed. This is an old game. 
two shields and a white crown. Could that be the White Queen? Light, unlock her love's release. It worked. The Sun King, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, ending a long standing war between France and Spain. The poor Queen, Maria Theresa, died a painful death, to which the King said, This is the first trouble she has given me. This is Egyptian, an evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. A Byzantine scroll. Justice is the constant and perpetual wish to render everyone his due. Emperor Justinian. A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? Woman. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. A Yatiri, a South American healer. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. I just wanted to thank you for your discretion, as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. The delay was due to an accounting error, which has now been rectified. Yours, Richard Croft. No matter where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. This looks Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? I wonder who those two dogs are. This is from Colombia, a Xeno chief. I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. This is the kind of armour that the conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. I wonder what they found? A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. 25th Dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. This looks Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. The death mask of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. Hmm, a Persian lioness. But someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. Great bat sweeps and fur. The knight's shield reflects the light. There she is! The White Queen. Trapped. I have to help her.
to free the White Queen. Now I can free her. With light, unlock her love's release. Founding, our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are Mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats! I'm not afraid of anything! Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. It's just on the verge. You are always on the verge. Your obsession is destroying this family. Obsession? I'm obsessed. You are missing your daughter's childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? Oh, for goodness sake, you don't have to deal with it. Dad? Please, for goodness sake, you've got to understand. This is probably the most important one I've arrived at. Well, okay, what do I do? I have to... Dad? Morning. <sighs> so, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah.
Impossible. I can't carry any more. <sighs> All full up. Can't carry any more. This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. This is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. The lens is cracked. Almost looks as though it was hit by a projectile of some type. Eighteenth of July. I awoke this morning at the sight of my father wringing his handkerchief tightly between his two hands. Wide-eyed and unblinking, he stared in Raleigh's direction. Raleigh had passed. Infection had set into his wounds days ago, and shortly after, fever took hold. Between fits of cold sweats, laboured groans of pain, and demented ramblings, Raleigh had somehow been able to insist on forging ahead. Father had tried to reason with him telling him to turn back, to let us carry the torch. But Raleigh made it clear. Turning our backs on him would have been leaving him there to die. We forged ahead. We were as far away from civilization as we had ever been, and we foolishly continued to trudge forward. So long, old friend. <laughs> 